Hey, Coach, this is Coach Van with Next Play Hoops, and we are back again with uh, our next video book preview. And today we're going to be going over our passing drills playbook. Uh, this book has uh, 1,078 pages and uh, over 400 different passing drills that you can choose from. And they are all broken down into 16 different subcategories. Um, or I should say sub passing drill categories uh, for you to choose from. So um, all of these drills will just start off by saying uh, they're all printable. You can use them on a desktop, a laptop, an iPad, or an iPhone. So you can easily uh, bring your practices um, or, or playbook or drills to your practices or your games and uh, share them with your assistant coaches. Uh, let's first take a look at our table of contents. Uh, you'll see the subcategories that we have listed here. Um, we Again, we break everything down into a subcategory. So uh, specifics such as backdoor passing drills. Uh, we have basic passing and motion passing drills, uh, dribble handoff and pitch passing drills, drive and kick and drift passing drills, flare and skip passing drills, high low passing, one more pass uh, passing drills. Uh, we have drills that focus on outlet passes, uh, partner and group passing drills, and those can be uh, good for uh, the training sessions. If you just have a small group of players, maybe you just have two or four, um, there's some good drills that you can choose from there. Um, pick and roll passing drills, um, the reads that you want to be making out of those, uh, post passing drills, um, post entry passes, uh, press, break pa press break passing drills, swing passing drills, and then we also have our two action, our lifts and our pops, which are our terminology and uh, in our vocabulary as far as our throwback passing drills. And then we also work on our transition passing and our zone passing. So uh, again, 16 different passing drill categories. So that way, the reason we break it down this way is if, if you're a coach and you are struggling in one specific area, let's just say it was uh, passing against a zone, then you're just going to go ahead and and skip forward to, to page 1044 in our zone passing drills and then just go through all of those drills. Um, I think it's crucial um, that we put this book together for all coaches just for the fact that um, uh, it kind of breaks the monotony of your practices, uh, keeps your players engaged. Um, there's tons of different ways to skin a cat um, as far as using multiple different drills that can um, accomplish the same thing that you're looking to accomplish. So um, that's that. Uh, we'll give you a quick little look here. Um, Inside the playbook, as far as our diagrams go, um, you'll see that everything is color coded uh, so you can easily decipher between the offense and the defense and the passes that are made. Uh, you also see that the um, uh, definitions um, in the descriptions of each frame, uh, we walk you through exactly what's happening on the floor, the reads that need to be making, and some of the coaching tips that you should be uh, teaching your players in each drill. Um, and then we also go over uh, the rotations and where each player should go um, once that drill is done. So here you can see this is our two-on-two -two dribble out back door drill. Uh, I got Kansas in parentheses because this is a great drill uh, that we work on in our Kansas series in our three out two in continuity offense. And you'll see here we flash five high, but if X5 is really denying that after we've run this a few different times, um, that's when we're going to have to make a read. You look at frame two, number one, we'll start to dribble at and then look to, for that one handed uh, uh, bounce pass there to five on a hard cut. So um, you'll see here, same thing. We kind of, uh, the next group will come four will now flash up and two will dribble at and then make that backdoor pass. And then we just rotate. So uh, just working on our dribble at and backdoor drill. So uh, that's kind of what all the drills will look like there. And uh, I'll kind of scan through. Here's our basic and motion passing. And in our basic and post, uh, our basic and motion passing drills, I mean, you'll see some stuff like our three man weave and our three man weave shooting drill that we like to do in six lines. Uh, we also do this with just five lines where there's nothing in the middle here. I think everyone's done this where we're trying to make 120 points in two minutes. Um, and you'll see the description there. And it's just a constant. We have five basketballs that we use in that drill. Good team drill. Um, so we have some drills like that. But uh, here's our DHO where we're worried or we're focusing on our dribble handoffs and our pitch passing. 
uh, which is a lot more prevalent in today's game and uh, day and age of basketball. Here's our drive and kick and our drift passing. Uh, one more pass drift shooting. I'll give you a good little example here. Uh, driving baseline, kind of in this Nash pass. You see we have a couple coaches in here too. Um, and we want to, and we want to run this on both sides of the court too. So you can run it on one side and then run it, flip, flip the drill and, and run it on the other side, but we're driving baseline and we want to make that drift pass here. This can also work in our hammer action that we like to run with the back screen. Uh, but we're also working on the one more pass concept. So if we have a player here that closes out, you can add another player to the drill, uh, closing out on number four. And that's where we would get used to uh, passing the ball to one. But we want number one to kind of step into that shot, catch and shoot. Um, and then you'll see kind of the rotations in the drill. So um, we're working on drift passing. We're working on shooting. But we're also working on our one more pass uh, concepts as well so we're accomplishing three different things in one drill so uh, some of these drills you'll see in a couple different categories just because they accomplish a few different things for us uh, here's our flare and skip passing drills all right here and our high low passing i think it's extremely important um, you know especially if you're uh, trying to feed the low post i think a lot of coaches get this wrong you really have to work on uh, entering the ball into the post uh, you can't just expect your players to be good at it. Um, I think you got to teach them to fake a pass, to make a pass, and get the right uh, proper passing angles, as well as you got to teach your post um, to get proper position and give a nice target uh, for the passer as well. So that's why we want to work on these things is um, so we can improve on the pass and and the angle of the pass and, uh, and the post player on the inside. Here's some outlet passing drills. Again, if you're struggling um, with getting the ball out of the net and rebounding the ball and getting the ball to the outlet, you can specifically just go to our outlet passing section and pick, uh, pick the drill that you want to use for that practice. Here's some partner and group passing. I mean, here's a simple one, you know, four person keep away where you got two people trapping the ball and you got partner passing and you're working on our traps and high hands and stepping through and all those different things. Um, and then we'll come down. You got pick and roll passing drills. The pick and roll passing drills are great. We give you two pages of plays here, but this is basically teaching you reads, uh, the proper reads that you want to be making, uh, reading the tag man. Um, we got a lot of, uh, here's, I'll just give you an example here. Here's a two on two corner drive, which is a help the helper drill. And uh, we got the coach that sets the screen, but we make X1 have to come around one. So it's basically, um, a advantage drill for the offense and a disadvantage drill for the defense where X1 has to come around that screen after one comes around and they're going to have to communicate and help the helpers. We're working on our advantage reads. We're working on help and we're working on help the helper. And uh, we're also working on finishing when we have the advantage and the reads you want to make offensively. So it, um, we're accomplishing quite a few things just in that one drill. Um, but we do that um, in a bunch of different ways. So we can walk you up from, one-on-one -on -one to two-on-two -on -two to three-on-three -three and, and what have you. Again, just making the proper reads in our pick and roll. Here's our post-passing drills. Again, we worked on the high-low passing. Now we're going to work on post-passing maybe from the wing instead, maybe working on our Laker cuts or what are we going to do after a pass is made as we go into our split action or our low Laker or our high Laker cuts. And then post uh, players being able to pass out of the post. And then we have our press break passing drills. So if you're struggling against the press, you might wanna go into some of these drills. We got swing passing. Uh, that can work as a, a our Carolina numbered break or can we can uh, work in our swing offense in our Wisconsin series. And then again, this is our terminology as far as our throwback. Uh, we call it two action. We have lifts and we have pops. Um, these are just drills too. Um, I love misdirection plays. Uh, I got a ton of them in my playbook. I think it's, um, you know, the defenses are always taught to uh, tag the roll man uh, from the weak side bottom corner uh, the, the furthest away from where the ball is going. So we like to take advantage of that by throwing a lot of throwback passes. So um, if we really want to be good at that, then we need to, uh, we need to work on it. So um, I'll give you a quick little uh, peek here. Here's a five on four spread ball screen drill. So you can see here, right here, X1's got the ball. It's coming off the screen from five. Um, and here's the read. We want to read X2 right here. And, and here's the key because X4 has to help. Um, you got X2 here and X1's coming over, but we got to read X2. If X2 comes in here to tag on the roll, 
then we're going to hit three. And that's where we got the throwback action right here. So it's just something that we're trying to teach our players how to do, um, but they got to be reading this tag, man. If, if he stays home, then we should have the, the role um, for either a lob or we want to put pressure on the defense there. So um, again, just some advantage drills, trying to teach our players the proper reads um, that are going to transfer from practice directly to a game. And uh, here's transition passing. Uh, we want to get the ball to the hoop get it up the court as fast as possible. So we got some transition drills where we can take advantage of, uh, of uh, our fast breaks and our primary break, because those are important situations um, that we want to uh, convert on. And then lastly, we're gonna go into our zone passing drills. And we have a multitude of different drills that you can choose there from X action down below to drive and kick and draw two and, and all the, all those good things. So um, again, 1,078 pages in this uh, book. This is all passing drills. Um, there's a few other drills that might mix in, but um, if you need to improve in your passing in, in any one of those 16 subcategories, um, uh, we have you covered here. So um, if you have any questions, you can email me at coachvan at nextplayhoops.com. Uh, other than that, we will see you at the next video. Thanks, coach.